Um, it was interesting. I, I, I go to a, a, a dance camp, not every year, most years. Dance, dance camp Wales. It's a, a, an incredible community, and, and I love it. And dance is important to me. And about the time I was, I suppose I was feeling a bit burnt out with the counselling therapy, even though I had set up a huge practice in West Wales, and yeah, I was doing all sorts of stuff. I was getting burnt out, and and I felt it at this camp. I didn't feel connected with the camp particularly, and people. And they have this day where everyone sets up little stores and they offer things. And this woman had huge Viking hat on, <laughs> looked completely bonkers. She was bonkers, I think. And she was saying, "Read your um, what is it? Read your palm or something for two quid." I, I, I'm not quite sure why I did it, but I went up to her and I said, um, "You know, okay, I'm, I'm you know, wanting to know what what I'm meant to be doing." And she read my palm and. The thing that still stands out, she looked at me and she said, you're troubled and you need to work with wood. And I can't say I left that camp thinking I'm going to become a carpenter. But it, for some reason, the craziness of it really impacted on me and I was so unhappy in the work I was doing. It wasn't long before I was offered a much bigger contract to develop more counselling services and it felt like a fairly easy decision to say no. Then there was like, oh, blimey, what are we going to do? And and then quite quickly, just work came in. Um, carpentry work, work that I, I love working with wood, not just building things. And in terms of my life, it has, for the last, gosh, 15 years, you know, each, I feel really moved, each of my children has um, worked for me. I've, I've employed loads of people, loads of people. Um, and I've had one or two good labourers amongst those people, but um, there's something about my relationships with my kids, because I'm a bit of a worker, a bit of a doer, so the relationships with my children has definitely benefited from us working together and negotiating things, um, you know, dancing, talking, you know, my, my eldest, Indigo, who has something to do with this film, <laughs> you know, she, she, um, yeah, she worked for me for a long time. Um, my second son, or yeah, my second son, um, he, yeah, he's worked for me for two years now, and that's been really a gift to me, to me, and I hope to him. And I think it has, because it's introduced him to natural materials. Um, and then I have a son who sadly died a few years ago, and. Uh, I just carry great, you know, he was very young, 10, 11, he started working for me, and he was like a nutcase, he would work in any weather, he was really strong, he picked up on stuff quickly. So I carry uh, memories of him and that intimate relationship of working with one of your children, um, which is really precious to me because, you know, sadly he died. Um, so I, and I still have little memories of him. You know, on Christmas Eve Eve, when we were trying to get a, a huge retreat thing finished, and we couldn't, and I finally gave up, and um, I saw this lovely image of him popping out of the top of this this um, like cabin that was taken across to Stroud, and the, the light from inside was shining up, and it was gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, a gorgeous memory, um, one that still touches me. So yeah, it's impacted on my life a lot, and in the work I do, I do a lot of work now with men, and there is nothing, and actually I've done a lot of work with women. You know, I've done do-it-yourself workshops for women, and um, it's, that's a gift, you know, to be a man who can hold a space for women in a non-shaming way. It's an absolute gift to me, and I understand it's a gift to them. And now it's men I'm working with, and it's, yeah, it's similarly, it's very moving. You know, people, when they're working with wood, I think relax, and they allow themselves... Yeah, I suppose to go where I don't even think as a therapist, I can honestly say this, I don't think it'd be easy to support someone to get to some of the places that I've seen people get when they're working together on wood. Yeah, it's really, yeah, yeah it, it holds vulnerability well, I think. Yeah, I feel quite emotional. And that's okay. Yeah. That's okay.